Welcome to another episode of Asia Unscripted. So, on this video, I'm going to be talking about my 2022 plans. What's the plans for this channel? What are the plans for me? So, um, as you may or may not know, I'm here in Las Vegas, Nevada for a few days to celebrate Christmas. Um, so, Merry Christmas to those of you that celebrate. Um, this escalator is not working. It's always weird to walk down an escalator that doesn't work. I mean, it's essentially just stairs when it's not functioning, but it's just still has a weird feeling to me. Anyways, 2021. So let's recap real quick. So at the beginning of 2021, I was in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. You guys have seen some of my Mexico videos. And then I had plans to go to Vietnam, which I did. Um, but that kind of fell apart about five or six months after I got there. When I first got to Vietnam, um, they didn't have that many cases. When I arrived there in January, they had less than 1,500 total cases in the whole country. Then in April, um, things started falling apart. So now they're you know, up there with uh, most other countries with hundreds of thousands of cases overall. I'm not sure if they've gone to a million yet, but I know they're in a high um, hundred uh, in the high hundreds thousands. So I saw a lockdown coming. You know, in Asia, they take the lockdown somewhat seriously. In Vietnam turned out to have the most serious of all the lockdowns. So I left there June 30th, and then in early July, they locked the whole place down. So it was to the point where you couldn't even leave your house to even go grocery shopping. Either you had to, you know, give your grocery list to your landlord, who was allowed out, or the Vietnamese military had to do the shopping for you. So, you have changed. So that lasted July, August, into September, and then finally October 1st, they realized they're never going to get back down to zero, so they started reopening things again. And now Vietnam, besides foreign tourism, is mostly open. Um, my friends there are able to work, go out to restaurants, do most of the things they used to be able to do. Um, but, you know, I would love to go back there, but for fear of another lockdown, especially with this Omicron, uh, I'll stay away for a while until I know they're open for good. So maybe uh, in 2022, which gets me to this channel's plans and my plans for 2022. So for the first couple months, I'm gonna be staying in Salt Lake City. Um, I got a really good job with the uh, local transit agency, so I'll be driving a bus for a couple months. Um, right now it's really great because there's a big shortage of drivers, so they are offering double overtime, so any hours over 40 hours, basically you get paid double your base uh, pay rate, which is pretty damn awesome. So I plan on taking advantage of that padding up the bank account and then uh, maybe around March or April see where things are in the world and uh, see if it's worth it to head back overseas again um, we'll see about that it just depends um, I'm not gonna go back I'm not gonna go back to Asia if it looks like things are gonna lock down again so if the Philippines, I'm kind of waiting to see who, uh, who, who, who the next president's going to be. And if he's going to have, if he's going to be as tough as the current one with lockdowns. Or if he's going to realize, hey, we need to reopen, you know, we need to, the tourism. So the, the election is in June, or excuse me, in May. The new president takes office in June. 
So we'll see what happens. Uh, see what happens for the Philippines. But in the meantime, in May or, or excuse me, in March or April, might head out to another country first to see what's going on. So that's always an option. Um, if Cambodia stays open without quarantine, I might head there. I'm not gonna do another quarantine, you guys. I already did a 14 day one in Vietnam. Most of the world's already figured out, here's the Bellagio. Most of the world's already figured out that lockdowns don't do any good. They're a waste of time. People are gonna go out anyways. Especially here in the States. There's a fake Eiffel Tower. This is one of the inter few intersections that actually don't have an overpass. Very interesting. So, where were we? What was I talking about? Oh yeah, 2022. So 2022, I do want to get back over overseas. It may not even be Asia. We'll see if Asia is really still really screwed up. Come next spring, maybe we'll look at uh, maybe we'll look at Central America or South America. We'll just see what's going on. Springtime, we'll see what's happening and decide from there. But I'm not going to spend another winter in Salt Lake City. I don't like driving in the snow. I don't like walking in the snow. Um, that's just, I'll deal with it for this winter, but I wasn't planning on staying over the winter, but things happen. I might even come back to Vegas. Um, they need a lot of the drivers here, not just for the buses, but they need drivers for the limousines, the fancy limousines. They need drivers for airport shuttles. They need drivers just crazy down here and with now I have my CDL I can't drive a truck but I can drive a bus so with my CDL there are many options if I have to stay in the States for an extended amount of time but that's not not my plan so uh, just stay tuned you guys so we'll see uh, maybe in March or April I'll update it and let you guys know what my what my thinking are what my thinking is sorry oh, I can't believe I used to be an English teacher and I can't even speak it properly <laughs> um, so I'll keep you guys updated throughout 2022 so if you haven't subscribed to my Yikes. Crazy guys talking. So if you haven't if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell for future notification videos. Um, I'm not sure how many more videos in Vegas I'll do. This is my fourth one. I may do one more before I head out tomorrow back to Salt Lake City. Uh, I gotta get, head back to work on Monday. Um, I am in training, so uh, training for my job is taking anywhere from seven to nine weeks. So we started at November 29th, and I believe I'm in training until January the 19th. So I still got a while. Um, so wish me luck with that. You guys stay safe out there. Um, yeah, as you can see here in Vegas, a lot of people are still wearing masks. You're required to in public spaces inside, outside, it's optional. Um, I don't wear one outside because I don't think it does much good outside. Um, but going inside, yeah, I'll do it. Um, just because I don't want to get, uh, <laughs> I don't want to get banned from a casino or kicked out because I'm not following the uh, governor's directive. So, um, anyways, I'm going to continue this walk down the strip. Might do one more video um, later on tonight from Fremont Street. Fremont Street is pretty much downtown. Um, so downtown kind of has its own vibe from the Las Vegas Strip. So, 
uh, I don't know what I'll talk about in that video, but um, I'll come up with a topic. We'll figure something out. You guys remember uh, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch? Uh, Mark Wahlberg? Now there's this burger place, Wahlburgers. So he went from uh, singing, a singing career, he's had an acting career, and he also he also has a uh, chain of uh, burger joints. Right, so pretty cool. All right, so Brazier Unscripted. This is Jason, and I will see you guys again next time. Take care. Bye.